Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. This is me Faraz Kurban Rajpar and in this video lecture I am going to discuss with you about the classification of sulfonamide as the part of your 9th semester medicinal chemistry syllabus. So now let's discuss the different parameters criteria for the classification of sulfonamide, their subclasses and the example of various sulfonamide drugs that are falling in each class. At the end of this video lecture you may also find the quiz for your self-assessment. Classification of sulfonamide. There are various criteria on that sulfonamide can be classified. Like they can be classified on the basis of site of action, on the basis of pharmacokinetic properties, on the basis of their duration of action, on the basis of their chemical structure, and as well as on the basis of their pharmacological activity. So now let's check out the example and subclasses of each of these classes. Like first classification is based on the site of action. On the basis of site of action, sulfonamide can be classified for, as those that are used only for the local infection. The examples are sulfacetamide, mefinamide, silver sulfadiazine. These are those sulfonamide drugs that can be used for the local infection. And that infection is basically the bacterial infection. And there are the sulfonamide that are useful for the general infection. The general infection drugs of sulfonamide include sulfanilamide, sulfapyridine, sulfadiazine, sulfamethoxazole, and sulfamethoxacine. There are sulfonamide drugs which are only useful for the urinary tract infection, means they are highly effective in that case. The example are sulfoisoxazole and sulfathiazole sulfonamide that are useful for the dermatitis infection includes depsone and the solepsone like uh, we know that depsone is one of the well known drug of choice for the leprosy infection there are the sulfonamide drugs that are useful for the intestinal infections caused by the bacteria the example are ethylyl sulfathiazole succinyl sulfathiazole and sulfasalazine and we know that if we check their chemical structure then these are basically the prodrug sulfethylyl succinyl sulfathiazole and sulfasalazine these three are the prodrugs that must be activated inside the body there are the sulfonamide that are used in combination with other drugs like they can be used in the ratio with the trimethoprin that is the sulfamethoxazole on the basis of duration of action sulfonamide can be classified into the extra long acting extra long acting are those sulfonamide whose half life is greater than 50 hours the examples are sulfasalazine sulfaiclomide and sulfaly there are sulfonamide that are the long acting long acting whose half life is greater than 24 hours example are sulfadoxine sulfamethoxopyridazine sulfaphenazole and sulfamethoxine and intermediate acting sulfonamide include those whose half life is between 10 to 24 hours example are sulfamethoxazole and sulfasomizole there are sulfonamide drugs which fall under the category of short acting short acting are those sulfonamides whose half life is less than 20 hours the example include sulfamethiazole and sulfasoxazole injectable or soluble sulfonamide include sulfafurazole sulfadiazine and sulfamethoxine on the basis of chemical structure, sulfonamide can be classified into three main classes like some are the N-substituted sulfonamide that is the N1 substituted, some fall under the category of N4 substituted, some comes under the category of both N1 and N4. And beside this, there is another class of sulfonamide, they are the miscellaneous drugs, I means so whose structure is miscellaneous like example of n1 substituted sulfonamide in which n1 
site R N1 group of sulfonamide is being substituted with different heterocyclic ring. Examples are sulfadiazine, sulfacetamide, sulfadimide. N4 substituted sulfonamide include mainly the pro drugs of sulfonamide like protonsil, sulfacelazine. These are the N4 substituted sulfonamide. There are the sulfonamide that falls under the category of N1 and N4 substituted sulfonamide means in them the N1 and N4 site both are being substituted with certain other functional group are the rings like uh, the examples of the drugs include succinyl sulfathiazole, phthalyl sulfathiazole. In succinyl sulfathiazole, succinic acid is being substituted at the N4 site and phthalic acid is substituted at the N4 site in case of phthalyl sulfathiazole. The miscellaneous drugs of sulfonamide class include mephinite sodium. Mephinite in some books, the mephinite comes under the category of N1 and N4 substituted sulfonamide. That is basic, sorry, it comes under the category of N4 substituted sulfonamide. Sulfonamide can be classified on the basis of pharmacokinetic properties that is basically on the basis of their bioavailability that is related with their absorption like some are the poorly absorbable sulfonamide that are locally acting some are rapidly absorbed so that's why they are being ex rapidly excreted that are the systemic sulfonamide and some are men only useful for the topical use the examples of poorly absorbed sulfonamide that are locally acting are sulfacelazine, phthalyl sulfathiazole, sulfagunidine, succinyl sulfathiazole, sulfapyridine. And uh, for rapidly absorbed, rapidly excreted, that are the systemic sulfonamide, means they can be useful for the systemic route. The examples are sulfamethoxazole, sulfadiazine, sulfafurazole, sulfacetamide sulfachloropyridine and sulfadimidine the topical use sulfonamide include sulfacetamide mephinite sulfathiazole and silver salt of sulfadiazine drug the fourth class of the sulfonamide classification is on the basis of their pharmacological activity so on the basis of their pharmacological activity they can be classified as those sulfonamide that are useful for antibacterial agents and some are useful only for the dermatitis infection antibacterial agents include sulfadiazine sulfasuxazole and for dermatitis infection that is the depso so now let's have the quiz for your self assessment uh, quiz number one enlist the criteria only write down the name of the criteria on which the sulfonamide can be classified number two give the example of injectable or soluble sulfur drugs number three enlist the classes of sulfonamide on the basis of their chemical structure